hunting. You don't belong here. No one stands up to Persephone's guards, let alone best them in battle. Tell me your name, or you're next. Ah, I'm Hermes. As you're holding my proudest creation, that means you're a descendant of Pythagoras. I know just why you're here. You need to harness its power. Now, your name. The staff calls me Keeper, but you can call me Alexios. What is this place? Keeper! A great name with a great journey ahead of you. This is the paradise of Elysium, presided over by the mighty Persephone herself. Elysium was a gift from her husband, Hades. This beautiful realm she crafted in her image is the only joy she gets from the underworld. She's his prisoner. But she's coming to her role as queen with much aplomb. Elysium, the resting place of heroes. When I was a boy, I dream of seeing it with my own eyes. Then, why would Persephone attack me? Most rulers don't take the sudden invasion of a lone outsider lightly. Speaking of which, the appearance of a living human is quite unexpected. I'm supposed to go through trials and eventually leave this place. There was a great seal and uh, the staff talks. It's all very complicated. Allow me to explain. The staff is a gift, not a toy. It can be a key, a weapon, and a way to attain power until the very end of time. Here, you'll find a means to control it before it controls you. After that, there is a gate that leads out of Elysium. But the only way to it is through Persephone, and she'd never allow that. I need to get to that gate. Try talking to her. Who knows? Maybe she'll convince you to stay. Or you could find Nekati, Persephone's top advisor and closest friend. Or you could prove yourself. Prove myself how? Persephone sent guards because she's concerned. There are reports of lawlessness in Death Kalyon's heritage south of here. <laughs> Why am I telling you all this? You said it yourself. It's very complicated. 
Elysium may look like paradise, but we all have our secrets. Tell me about yourself. Me? Well, uh, I've never had anyone ask about me before. I work west of here. It's a modest workshop. But all great things appear modest at first, don't they? Maybe I should investigate Dafkalion's heritage. Persephone responds best to action. We need to smother them immediately if there's a whiff of trouble against her. I could talk to Ekati. You could, though she prefers to keep to herself. The dwellers of Ferea's retreat, which is to the east, might know of her whereabouts. I'd ask them. I'm thinking I go straight to Persephone. Not so fast. Give her some time to cool down. When you introduce yourself, you'll find her in her majestic Acropolis, perched high above the Asphodel fields. What can you tell me about my staff? I need to learn how to use it. Find my energy sources, the perceptions of Hermes, across Elysium to imbue both you and the staff with power. Only then are you ready to move onward. You can't wield the staff without them. Are you certain there's nothing else you'd like to know? Kere. When you've sorted your affairs with Persephone, come see me in Minos's faith. I look forward to hearing about your progress. I will. I almost forgot. I've invented just a thing for you flightless humans in Elysium. The wings of Erbis. Go. Enjoy them. You know I want out of Elysium. If you help me escape, I promise you'll never see me again. As happy as that would make me, Persephone wants you to stay. How long until you realize you're just one of her pets? Watch yourself, human. Careful, or Persephone will have you neutered. Oh, I forgot. She did that ages ago. didn't think the dead could feel pain. I'm one of the few miserable fools around here who's actually alive. If you're so miserable, why not just leave? I've tried. If Persephone wants you to stay, dead or alive, you stay. Hades taught her well. So you're the troublemaker I've been hearing so much about. Adonis, at your service. With an army at Persephone's disposal and most of Elysium under her control, my troublemaking days are coming to an end. What if I helped you? And why would someone with their whole life ahead of them want to do that? I hear Persephone has everyone in Elysium on a leash. I want to cut them free. <laughs> of all the lies in the underworld, that's the best one I've heard yet. No one cares about the dead. Try again. I need to find Hades' realm. 
If overthrowing Persephone is the key to escaping Elysium, then I'm in. <laughs> Why didn't you just say so from the beginning? Did you hear that, my love? He wants to enter Hades' realm. I'm going to find it, with or without your help. We might as well work together. Tell you what. Southwest from here is the fortress of the Three Sisters. One of Persephone's strongholds. If you kill her overseer, destroy her torches of Hypnos, and steal Persephone's resources, all while avoiding the attention of her Colossi, then maybe I'll trust you. Tell me about the Overseers. Persephone's most trusted and deadly servants. They are the eyes and ears of Elysium. Killing them will leave the Queen blind and deaf. Torches of Hypnos? Constructed by the God of Slumber, these devices keep human minds under Persephone's control. Destroy their centers to extinguish their flames. I don't like the sound of Colossi. The Colossi are best left asleep. They protect the Overseers. Bloodshed wakes them, and they do not like being woken. If you're the troublemaker, why do I feel like I'll be causing all the trouble? What can I say? I'm a lover, not a fighter. Luckily for you, I'm both. They'll be on high alert here.
could be even in the underworld. Trust me now. You've brought me one step closer to my love. It's a good start. Who is this love you keep mentioning? The most beautiful being in existence. With a face so fair to gaze upon it is to forget all others. Perhaps you've heard of her. Aphrodite. I didn't take you for a poet. She brings it out in me. Do whatever I can to get you back to her. You have my word. You've given me something I haven't had in a while. Hope. All right. What's next? Not here. Come find my camp in Yapetos' ruins. Before you go, Persephone has overseers and torches of Hypnos across Elysium. If we're going to weaken her influence, we must destroy them. <sighs> And we're going to need all the help we can get. It's about time I go meet the infamous Persephone. and sputtering while his boat floated away from him down the Eridan River in pieces. I'd give my sharpest bronze dagger to see that silly human trying to leave Elysium on a felucca. Have you visited my mother recently and given her my love? Always. The meteor sends her love in return. Well, I'd better get back. Elysium won't rule itself. Do keep an eye out for me. I sense trouble brewing in paradise. I was starting to think you'd never get here. You can't waste time if you hope to break Persephone's control over the gate to the underworld. I... <laughs> Did you really think word wouldn't get out at your inclusion with Elysium's pretty boy, Adonis? Is that so? Unfortunately, no one passes through the gate to the underworld without Persephone's permission, which she has never given. Ever. Luckily for you, as the goddess of crossroads and keys, locked doors happen to be my specialty. Are you saying you can get me through the gate? I'm saying I can help you bypass Persephone. <laughs> From what I just saw, you're pretty close with Persephone. Why would you want to work against her? I'm not asking for your blind trust. Let me prove our goals align. This unlocks the door to Persephone's hidden sanctuary. She keeps all of her most intimate possessions there, stowed away from her husband. Among her treasures is a journal rumored to contain information you desperately need about the gate. Bring it to me as soon as you can. I'll go get the journal. The sooner you bring me it, the closer you are to leaving Elysium. Don't waste any time.
This is it. Something's in the way. Something's blocking this. Won't budge. Huh. <laughs> 
see if Ikati's key works. Then find that journal. Journal is missing pages. Hope Picati still wants it. I'm not sure how stealing Persephone's journal will help me open the gate to the Underworld, but here it is. Stealing Persephone's journal wouldn't help us. But stealing the journal that belonged to the gate's locksmith will. Who's the locksmith? It doesn't say. Looks like a lot of pages were torn out. Now be quiet while I read. Well, that was illuminating. So? What does it say? Oh, so eager. The location of the gate is not revealed. But so long as Persephone controls Elysium, you need her permission to pass through it. Which you will never get. But if she loses control of Elysium... She loses control of the gate. You need to undermine her influence any way you can. And how do you suggest I do that? Your alliance with Adonis is a good start. His head-on tactics are a little obvious for my taste, but in time, he will wear down Persephone's forces. What about our alliance? Where do you come in? I know all of Persephone's weaknesses, and I'll direct you to them when the time is right. Until then, you'd be wise to spend some time with Persephone's lapdog, Ernis. Learn to use that staff. You'll need a divine weapon in the land of gods.
by the gods. She fought like an animal. Like riches are valued even in the underworld. <laughs> 